whom other people considered in the society as being nothing. Though who seem to have been depressed by some other people who think they are much or more powerful than them, as such they can decide to do anyhow with them. Now, the members of this organization are decided to, to come out, to tell out the truth, Thank you, and to stand for, for those who have who are being depressed. Which is our prayer. That is why it is, to to say this. that it is end violence against women. women now, we'll and out. when they we'll realize that it's not just against women, they said children, and later on they said it's not just these people that are being violated by others, they said the whole world, both men and women. There are cases that are going on here and there. People are being considered as less privileged, as such they stand on them and do whatever they want to do against them. Now. They are here to tell us the importance of this club. They are here to tell us how to and where to go for your right. They are here to tell you what to do in order to protect yourself. They are here to speak to us so that we will learn and take precautions of what we are supposed to do. On behalf of this school and all other people that are around here, I want to declare this occasion open. I say that we wish them all the best in everything that they will do. All that is being said here is for the importance of everyone that is here. Therefore, I hope all of us. For 16 good days, it is meant to believe that everybody should participate at one level or the other. It's a ceremony or it's a kind of celebrated event that people's attention is being drawn to fight against violence of all kinds. In the course of our discussion, we are going to let you understand what are those types of violence we said no to. Now because we are trying to say zero tolerance to all kinds of violence, maybe I'll take us to a little run of uh, evidence, real life through happening for, me, for you to believe what we are talking about. Okay? Now we are taking time, I want to even apologize for yeah, right now they are working on, um, they are campaigning for court for SGB, the Sexual Assault Fire Center, so that our case will not be taken to any open court and be treated anyhow without justice to the survivors. It's particularly ending violence against women and girls, men inclusive, because our statistics shows that men are equally assaulted. We had a practical case yesterday, as, as, as we are even speaking, the lady is in the cell right now because she injured a man all over, he was just bleeding, and he's right now in the hospital. So violence is everywhere, and that's why this is gender-based, not more women and men. We are highly, highly against that. It's a very bad practice which has to really stop. So we want uh, the community at large, and all of you here to join us in this very campaign so that we see that this thing is really put to our end because of the devastating impact that some of these survivors actually face. Some are raped even to death. Some contact a lot of illnesses such as HIV, that is B and C, then with other uh, diseases that come along with this. So we want to see how the community, our leaders, will be able to support us so that all of these will be able to, brought, uh, to be brought to an end. Thank you. So you're welcome. Thank you so much. A girl who is raised indecently should be raped. A girl who dressed indecently should not be raped. Why? Because our religion does not does not encourage it. But the Quran and the Bible doesn't say that if a girl is indecently dressed, she should be raped. Firstly, rape can be defined as an act of sexually abusing someone or the act of forcing someone to have sex with you, especially by using violence. And indecent dressing can be seen as the act of dressing to expose various parts of the body which must be covered. And secondly, we have girls should not be raped because they are interestingly dressed because, because they have the right to do everything. I mean, when it is first century, everybody has the right to dress the way he wants to do, has the right to do everything he wants to do, and you as a, a, a male or female doesn't have the right to judge her. And because we are human beings, God has made us to have a heart. When you see someone who is indecently dressed, you have the right to go and tell him 
if you don't like the way he's dressed, you have the right to go and encourage him. And you don't have to, to, to go and force yourself on him because he's indecently dressed. And then we have the law. No constitution in this world encourages rapists. Because raped, rapists are, are jailed for what they are doing. People that, that commit violence against men are being jailed. So there is no law that encourages it. And then I can tell you for a fact that out of 100% causes of rape, indecent dressing carries only 34%. There are many causes of rape. We have lack of moral, moral, moral values. We have faulty upbringing. Parents allow their children to watch many rubbish in the internet that tends to affect their brains. And then they go about raping girls around. And then we have, we have drug addicts. Drug, drug addicts. I, people that I stand before you to support the motion which said girls who dress indecently should be read with the following points of mind. First and foremost, I want to start with the meaning of indecently and rape. Indecently is, is showing one's part of the body to the public. Rape is for someone to have sexual intercourse. It is not only for someone to have sexual intercourse. If someone touches somebody his body without his consent, it's rape. Firstly, I want to start with the saying, prevention is better than cure. If she covers her body decently, she will not be raped. Why? Do you know one thing about indecent dress? It attracts the attention of people. And it also deals with adultery, fornication, and prostitution. Secondly, our religion institution, our religion institution condemns it because it is a sin. Do you know that the small children are seeing what is happening and they will also do more than that when they grow up? There was a saying, honor is given to those who deserve it. If, if a woman dressed indecently, she will not be respected. Why? Because there was a saying, because there was a saying, the way you speak, dress more up. The way you speak, the way you dress, speak more about you. So, as a citizen of Nigeria, there is no, there is no rule that says that we should wear the dress, the, the kind of, we should wear the kind of dress we want. There are many girls that say they are, they have the right to freedom because, according to the constitution, it says that everybody has his own way to has the right to freedom. So, the right to freedom is the good behavior, but not the bad behavior. So, as a citizen of Nigeria. You have to dress properly. You have to dress in a manner way. You have to dress in a way that if the little children say you, do you know that they will, they will do the wrong things when they grow up. So dress properly. If you dress properly, you will be attractive. If you dress properly, you will be a good person. If you dress properly, you will even be the good citizen of your country. There was a saying, you so you have to be good example to others. If the people see you, they are supposed to know that this comes from a good families. You are supposed to, you supposed to attend your family names. My, my, my list, my audience. I want you to imagine how many, how many toxic materials have been put into the oceans just as a result of indecent dressing. And I want to believe, as from now, you that have had it, you are going out as ambassadors of this program. You will speak to people, you will tell them, this is what you are supposed to do so as to protect yourself from any problem or from any trouble. As they have come and helped us, let us also help others by telling them what they are supposed to do. Let us speak to others as we have had. It is said that when you have what is good, tell it to others. So that they in turn will also speak it to others. We want the world to be safe. We want Nigeria to be safe. And the only way in which we can arrest bad people so that they will leave their bad manners is by, by organizing programs like this. When all programs like this are organized, we will hear, we will take corrections, and we will take direction. We want to say a very big thank you to the organizers of this program. 
it is our sincere hope that as we have come and educate us on this, the Lord will not just leave it like that. His blessings will follow you. The state government and the federal government and the world at large, we are praying that through this program, everyone will be safe and the world will be violent free. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always say, if you are still command uh, of civil defense, it's a command that uh, has the mandate to ensure the protections and welfare of citizens at all times. Your center has actually provided us another opportunity for service because through the center, many people have got to they've come to realize in a time that. We are always doing our job according to our rules of engagement. Seriously, and uh, we have to appreciate you. Um, though, like you know, we've shared the challenges together. Mm. The issue of uh, gender uh, violence. violence is something that I always say, is something that goes, whatever goes around comes around. Mm. Like I always tell the perpetrators and those who are recipients of the, the, the supposed to have done the advocacy visit in the office, but let's do it once and for all outside here. Oh? Yes, we still want to really appreciate the your services, your collaboration with our office and the state government, because we have been doing a great work and we want to make sure we keep the relationship. Of course, we cannot work alone except with you people, because of the aspect of investigation, the aspect of other services that we cannot render. And as a service provider, we are expected that we partner with you. So we appreciate that effort. Now we will be intensifying more because we have support from so many funders now, like the CIHP, the Center for Integrated Health Program. They supported our visit this morning because they want to ensure that we do follow up on our cases. We don't just refer and leave. We have to know what happens to the survivor so that the survivor gets satisfaction at the end of the day. So we will not just keep quiet like that. We will continue that way. And that is one of the reasons why we are also here. Now we are particular about orange the wall. You can see some of us in orange color and we have given you some of the map and we have the cards so that all of us will see that we are all working as we are here, the whole country, everywhere, the whole world, everybody is celebrating. Orange the wall is a day marked specially to fight against violence against women and girls. It's, we are all trying to see how do we eliminate all this type of violence, all the forms of violence such as the emotional, the physical and the sexual assault. Now it takes 16 days for celebration, and the celebration starts since 2000, uh, since uh, November 25th, and it's ending December 10th. So it's ongoing. So activities are happening even as we are here. Abuja is celebrating, Lagos is celebrating, Kaduna is celebrating, everyone is celebrating. So it's a, a solidarity call for everyone. So we continue to call for your solidarity. So solidarity. So can we snap? <laughs>